Right. Let us now move on to look at the extraction steam system. We have already mentioned that steam is extracted at various points along the turbine and used for feed water heating and perhaps for industrial process work. Here is a simplified arrangement where we show just four stages of feed water heating and therefore four extraction lines only. The extraction steam lines operate at much lower pressure than the main steam. In fact, in the case of a condensing turbine, the last stage of extraction will operate below atmospheric pressure. In this particular scheme, we have two low pressure closed heaters, one de-aerator and one high pressure closed heater. We'll be talking more about the heaters later in this module. Each extraction steam line is fitted with an isolating valve and a positive closing non-return valve, which trips to close when the turbine trips or is shut down. You will remember that we discussed this in an earlier module. Just as in the case of the main steam line, we must be careful to make sure that any condensate forming in the extraction lines will be removed via the drain connections, which are fitted at the low points of the pipe run. But where can these extraction lines drain to? Well, remember, during startup, all of the turbine and extraction pipe work is under vacuum conditions. So it is obvious that the drains cannot be opened to atmosphere. Otherwise, we would be drawing air in instead of blowing condensate out. Instead, these drains are discharged to the shell side of the condenser, which, of course, is also under vacuum. Often these extraction line drains are fitted with steam traps which discharge automatically into the condenser. However, during startup, it is good practice to open the trap bypasses to make sure that all of the water is drained from the line. On large turbine generator units, the feed water pumps are sometimes driven by steam turbines using extraction steam or cold reheat steam. The discharge from the turbine drive may then be piped to a lower point of extraction for further heat utilization. Alternatively, it may be piped to the condenser so that the condensate may be recovered even if the latent heat is lost to the cooling water. In some plants, extraction steam may also be used to supply part of the auxiliary steam demand. 